So I'm going to start today showing off a couple switches that I've been working on. Um, I mentioned in the comments earlier that I took one of the Sanwa switches, or that I was going to take one of the Sanwa switches and put a uh, ball pit ball on it. And I did. It's uh, got a zip tie through there. It actually fits really nice. Um, I should have taken some pictures on the inside. Maybe I'll still do that before I uh, post this. But um, it's got a zip tie that goes through there. I've got some glue in the holes, which hopefully will hold the air in so it doesn't get squished too bad. And uh, yeah, if you can picture a row of these as buttons um, in the future, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, the uh, other switches I kicked out is uh, or are the uh, tilt switch. This has got a little ball bearing in it. It's for Arduino stuff um, or, you know, pretty much anything that would have a tilt switch. So the ball bearing tilts to the bottom and that touches the contacts together. Um, and then you've got what amounts to motion control. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's ball bearings in there moving around, and uh, I think that'll work really well. And I've tested all of these, by the way, um, and they work just fine. Um, even this next one, which I was a little dubious about. Um, this one I just got some tape on so I don't lose a small piece. But this is a magnetic switch meant for, like, activating a light when you, um, you know, close a cupboard door or something. Uh, the reviews on Amazon said that it was normally open, um, even though the... Uh, description on Amazon said it was normally closed um, and normally opens what I wanted so when you touch these two things together the uh, switch activates and uh, the button gets pressed um, so there's all kinds of stuff I can do with that I can embed this um, switch inside of the toy make a little pedestal for it to go onto or something um, so there's all kinds of stuff I can do with these three switches in the future once I get uh, more time to play with some stuff so that's those. Now I'm going to turn off the lights um, <clears throat> and hope the camera can keep up and switch over to showing you the actual device put together. So um, Ellie's hanging out with it right now. I put some uh, wrapping on it. Um, I might have to redo that. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it works for now. Um, it helps it stop from sliding around in her bed a lot too. And so, um, yeah, it's pretty much what we showed last time, um, with just the sharp bits kind of covered up. This stuff all works. She was playing with this earlier. And, um, the projector's on the ground there, and it is projecting this game that we're just calling the, uh, well, we call it the rainbow drawing thing. Um, then we call it sun doodler, so I'm not sure exactly what we're going to call it, uh, long term, um. But uh, yeah, this is something my nephew made up, and uh, it took him just a couple hours. I asked him for basically an Etch-a-Sketch program that worked like Pac-Man, so it can roll uh, over the edges as you go. So she's not really doing anything right now with it, but she left one of the switches in the moving position. Although, let's see, Oop, that's that one, so... Well, this is hard to call to video. I took a 360 photo, so you'll be able to see this. Um, but if I activate one, I think one of the foot switches is being pressed right now. So that is uh, making it move. Let's see which one is activated. Oh yeah, I think she smacked that one. So anyway, um, I'm going to try uh, Protus next time. Um, but I had this for now, and this was super simple. And um, I just wanted to use something that would let me see, you know, what she was doing. Um, so I can leave this in here and, uh, you know, come back a little bit later and see if she's moved anything, what her uh, kind of tendencies are, and that sort of thing. So, yeah, but uh, kind of like last time, she's just going to fall asleep again, it looks like. So we'll stop bugging her and call that good enough for this video.